Welcome to day five of our prayer for Ukraine. Today, I'd like to focus our prayer on the men specifically who are still in Ukraine, the ones who were left to defend their country, to take care of the people who are left behind, and um, who really had no choice in staying or leaving. So we had the great blessing of meeting three women when we were in Poland, Natalia, Christina, and Sofia. And they were there with Christina's young son, Timothy. They've left behind husbands. Natalia's husband is Yaroslav, Christina's husband is Roman, and Sofia's husband is Petro. And one of the things that we promised these women is that we would be praying for their husbands because they would give anything to be with their wives and their families right now. But they are bravely, courageously defending their country, trying to care for the people who have been left behind, who need food, who need medicine, and who need care. So we want to, to specifically focus on these men and women who were left in Ukraine. Um, Sophia's husband is um, fighting in the battle right now, and so I really want to, to pray for him also, and, and men who are in his position as well. If you'll join me, let's go ahead and pray for them. God, I thank you so much for being with those people who were left behind in Ukraine, the people who were unable to get out because of health, because of their age, or because they need to stay behind and defend their country. God, I pray specifically for Petro and the people like him who are soldiers, who are fighting a battle that they do not want to have to fight. God, I pray that you would please be with them and keep them safe. I pray that they will be able to hear your voice and feel your presence, and that if they need to go to the right or the left to stay safe, that they will do so. I pray that you please protect their hearts and their minds from the trauma, from the atrocities that they are enduring, God. And I pray that you will redeem the time that these families are apart from one another. I pray that you will heal their minds and their spirits and their bodies from whatever they endure in this time and in this place. And God, I pray that they will all come to know you, that those who know you would rely on you, that they would feel your presence and your peace even in the midst of war, God. I pray that you will be light in the darkness to them and that you will protect them and guide them and bring these families back together safely, Lord. And God, I pray for an end to this war. And I know you can do it. We know you can do it. And we know it will only be because of you that peace can come on earth. And so we pray that your will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And please help us um, to bring peace and light wherever we go. We love you so much, Lord, and we thank you for going before us and behind us in all that we do. Please be with these people in Ukraine. And it's in your son's name we pray. Amen.